okay so hello everyone we are back to the class of molecular biology and in which we are learning about uh, dna sequencing uh, so dna sequencing uh, let's go to the definition once one more time since we have uh, passed we did not study it for last 3 to 4 days so the process of determining the orders of bases adenine thymine cytosine uh, guanine along a dna strand would be known as a dna sequencing method and all the information required for the growth and the development of an organism is encoded in the dna of its genome so dna sequencing is a fundamental to genome analysis and understanding the biological processes in general so main goal of ours by learning dna sequencing is to know what are the fundamentals uh so what are the biological processes that are happening means like what are rnas that are getting uh, transcripted what are the uh, proteins that are getting translated so if you know the dna sequence beforehand it will become very easy for you to understand what are, what is the probable protein that they, this particular dna has made what are the rna transcripts that it, that it has made and where exactly is the problem at the genetic level okay so that is the main goal so we were learning about the first generation sequencing and in that we had learned about two types of uh, dna sequencing method which were developed very earlier in their time and for which sanger has also received the uh, dr sanger has also received the nobel prize and uh, uh, we also have one more uh, two more people in that uh, whose sequencing method is known as maxma gilbert sequencing method so these are the two most popular dna sequencing method that are available with one is maxma gilbert and another one is sanger's method of sequencing in sanger's method of sequencing we had learned about how exactly sanger had uh, sequenced the dna by putting that di deoxy nucleotide dd and dp in each tube uh, reaction tube and then letting the process happen so wherever the di deoxy nucleotide will be getting incorporated the reaction will be stopped because this di deoxy nucleotide does not have a 3- oh group right uh, functional group and hence it is not able to form that uh, uh, diester bond and uh, there is no linking of further nucleotide in that dna so the reaction is getting stopped over there and we can come to know uh if by doing this okay uh am i audible now please type me in the chat box i'm sorry i had got disconnected okay so yeah in sanger sequencing uh he uh, <clears throat> he used di deoxy nucleotide base pairs and then accordingly uh, he sequenced the dna uh, and then after those dna fragments from each reaction tube he ran onto a gel electrophoresis and he counted the fragments from lower lower uh, molecular weight to higher molecular weight so overlapping sequences were there and then accordingly he could decode each and every nucleotide that is uh, there on a dna uh, template that we are willing to sequence okay so the two most popular dna sequencing method is maxma gilbert and sanger sequencing method we have seen about seen sanger sequencing method and now we are going to learn about the maxma gilbert sequencing method so i would uh, again ask you guys to type your name in the chat box if possible uh because uh, I, i'm not sure uh, this that earlier meeting got disconnected unfortunately means suddenly so uh, maxma gilbert sequencing is a method of dna sequencing developed by allen maxma and walter gilbert in 1976 and 1977 so these are two people maxma gilbert okay this method is based on nucleo uh, nucleo based specific partial chemical modification of dna and subsequent cleavage of dna backbone at sites adjacent to modified nucleotide so basically it cuts the dna with the help of some chemical 
okay and this method is also known as chemical degradation method okay so once i put the video on the google classroom the things will become more clear okay so first procedure in maxma gilbert um, dna sequencing is denature a double stranded dna to single stranded by increasing the temperature so this we have done we had done in this particular step is common in every dna sequencing method okay and uh, even sanger has performed the same then radioactively label one five uh, one of the five dash end of the dna uh, fragment to be sequenced by kinase reaction using gamma 32p phosphorus so basically you are going to radio uh, label the five dash end of the dna then clean the dna strand at specific position using chemical reaction so what kind of chemical reactions you will be using for what kind of a base that is what is written in the next point for example we can use one of the two chemicals followed by piperidine uh, dimethyl sulfate selectively attacks purine while hydrazine selectively attacks the pyrimidine so the chemical treatments outlined in maxma gilbert's paper cleaved at g a plus g c and c plus t so basically he also had four reaction where dna sequence will be broken down whenever he will encounter with the help of this chemical whenever uh, the dna will encounter uh, g jo guanine agar aaya so with with the help of this chemical it will be broken down a plus g agar aaya that is a g agar combination wahan pe aaya then the purine will be selectively uh, cleaved with the help of dimethyl sulfate plus c plus t agar aata hai then it will be selectively cleaved by uh, this hydrazine theek hai so accordingly he also did the four the three to four reactions for the same so a plus g means that it cleaves at a but occasionally at g as well theek okay? hai that means in this particular reaction a plus g it will definitely cleave at a and whenever it will encounter g it will cleave at the point of g as well then it uh, when it finds c it will be cleaved either by piperidine means some chemical uh, which you can which selectively you can choose and at c plus t it will definitely cleave at c and at some point it will also cleave at t so now in four reaction tubes we will have several differently sized dna strand and this is how it will look like so the, you have a double stranded dna which you have denatured to single stranded dna which has this particular sequence okay then you have add uh, added a uh, uh, radio labeled Uh, phosphorus group at the phi dash end then cleave at specific nucleotide so one of this chemical reaction is cleaving only at g one of this chemical reaction is cleaving at a along with g one of this chemical reaction is cleaving at t along with c and over here only c is getting whenever the chemical will encounter the c cytosin it will break at that cleave at that particular point so differently sized dna strands will be formed then he performed electrophoresis like same as that of sangers so method used in research laboratories for separating molecules according to their size and electrical charge is known as electrophoresis so an electric current is passed through the medium that contains the mixture of molecules and each kind of molecule travel the medium medium in the sense we are talking about the gel at the different rate depending on its electric charge and molecular size smaller molecules go faster and separation of the molecule occurs based on these differences so fragments are electrophore uh, electrophores that is migrated in the acry uh, acrylamide gel for size separation so i'm reading this faster because we already know what do you mean by electrophoresis and these gels are placed under x ray because we have radioactively labeled them right phi dash n which then yields a series of dark bands which shows the location of the radio labeled dna and the fragments are ordered by size and so we can deduce the sequence of the dna molecule so you see over here this is the gel electrophoresis reaction 
from longer fragment to the shorter fragment and the reading is more or less going to be the same as that of sanger's reading okay you will be reading small smaller fragment to higher fragment you will be decoding each base from smaller fragment to higher fragment and you will be taking the reverse of that uh, sequence that you have got and that would be the actual sequence of your dna okay so that is how uh, 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 maxma gilbert did their reaction of uh, dna sequencing by using different chemicals which will recognize a particular nucleotide and cleave at that particular point and we get different bases uh, different reaction and accordingly we can run those reaction on the gel and uh, count the fragments from lower molecular weight to higher molecular weight and decode the dna sequence so what are the advantages of this uh, sequence no premature termination due to dna sequencing so no problem with polymerase to synthesize the dna so there is no premature termination due to dna sequencing uh, in the sense uh, yeah in case of uh, uh, sanger sequencing we might get a premature termination because di deoxynucleotide will get recruited at what point of time we do not know so that might cause a premature uh, termination due to dna sequencing so no problem with polymerase to synthesize the dna okay then okay so and then uh, uh, sanger's uh, sequencing method also used the replication idea okay now the, it it had the replication idea in it where he is putting dna polymerase di di deoxy and uh, atp gtp jo kuch bhi rahega then he is also adding di deoxy ntp so all the ingredients that are needed for the replication purpose are to be added into the reaction mixture when over here we are not doing that over here we are using only chemicals to degrade the dna template we are just denaturing it and we are adding chemicals so that we can uh, read the uh, dna sequence directly we do not know need any uh, enzyme any dna polymerase anything in order to con reaction to be conducted so hence there is no premature termination because there is no replication type of reaction happening on, in our tube there is a chemical degradation that is happening in our, in our tube in maxma gilbert method so stretches of dna can be sequenced which cannot be done with enzymatic method uh so you can do actually longer stretches in uh, maxma gilbert compared to sanger's purified dna can be read directly homopolymeric dna runs are sequenced as efficiently as heterogeneous dna sequences so homogeneous and heterogeneous both the type of dna sequences can be uh, sequenced with this particular method and can be used to analyze dna protein interaction which is required for uh, footprinting like it, this is the method called as footprinting which will have uh, which will tell you about dna and protein interaction it can be used to analyze nucleic acid structure and epigenetic modification to dna uh, modifications to dna so all these are advantages of maxma gilbert method but the only thing is that maxma gilbert is purely using chemicals in order to sequence the dna it is not same as that of sanger sequencing where he is uh, putting the idea of replication and actually implementing the idea of replication in the tube in vitro in vitro uh, with the help of a in vitro method uh, disadvantage it is not a very widely used use of radioactivity and toxic chemicals very important because because of this it can be eliminated by many labs because they not all the labs handle radioactively labeled uh, materials it requires extensive use of hazardous chemicals it is a relatively complex set of technical complexities there it is difficult to scale up and cannot be used to analyze more than 500 base pairs right because you cannot go see in sangers you can go on sequencing because it's a replication type of reaction that is happening but over here you will be taking a fixed size of a dna into your reaction tube and then just adding the chemicals which will degrade that dna template the read length decreases from incomplete cleavage reaction so there could be chemical uh, uh, sometimes the incomplete cleavage reactions can also take place which can 
decrease the read length. It is difficult to make maximum Gilbert sequencing based DNA kits. So you cannot make DNA kits based on this particular method. Okay. So that is also a major disadvantage of this method. Limitations. Uh, what are limitations you can face uh, while uh, doing this, uh, performing this experiment? That is what is mentioned over here, which mainly talks about the gel electrophoresis and how many base pairs of the DNA you can sequence with this particular method. So I am not going to go over it. Whenever you guys will be reading, it will it is pretty much self understood. So we will not spend more of a time over here, and then. Main thing is comparison of Sanger method and Maxima Gilbert method. So, uh, Sanger's method is enzymatic, whereas Maxima Gilbert's method is chemical. Uh, this one, Sanger's requires the DNA synthesis, while this one only requires DNA. Termination of chain elongation, elongation over here, whereas it breaks the DNA at different nucleotides. It is an automated reaction. Automation is not available over here. You can automatically do this reaction by adding DNA polymerase. And you know that why after adding DNA polymerase and DNTPs and whatever is required for replication, for DNA sequencing to happen, uh, to make another template of DNA, the reaction will take place automatically. Uh, you need single standard DNA, you need double standard or single standard DNA over here. So this is the main comparison between two main important method of first generation that is Sanger sequencing and Maxima Gilbert method. Okay. Uh, so I hope I have made this very clear. Uh, and in meantime, maybe we can uh, uh, watch a video of uh, Maxima Gilbert method. Just a minute, let me see if I can put it up. Okay. <clears throat> Just be dead. It is not very difficult to understand Maxima Gilbert method or Sanger sequencing.
can you guys uh, hear the sound of the video yes or no just let me no no what sound of the video you can listen okay this is something i'll have to figure out just check again now is it audible now okay okay then i guess uh, i will have to okay okay uh in that case i guess i will upload the video on the google classroom and i'll figure out how we can exactly show the video to uh, on our live classes okay uh, are there any doubts in this particular session very small session i know uh, if there are any doubts please you can ask me right now because we are yet to learn about uh, new generation sequencing which is going to be more complicated so go through whatever material i'll be putting on your glass google classroom this two are the simplest methods of dna sequencing uh, that you want to learn about very simple uh, chemistry people definitely i would like you guys to go ahead and go uh, study whatever material i'll be uploading on the google classroom and go through it again once or twice so that once we start learning about new generation sequencing it will not be very difficult for you okay because new generation sequencing is little complicated little complicated not much we are not going to go in a very deep knowledge of how exactly the sequencing thing happened but we will definitely talk about some uh, edge uh, technologies that is crispr9 uh, crispr crispr crispr9 that is come, that has come uh, which is the most uh, 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 advanced e uh, equipment currently used for dna sequencing okay so uh, uh by saying this i'm signing off for now if there are any issues there are any doubts i hope you guys are understanding kalani ma'am's lecture as well i constantly keep on asking you because you have to let us know if there are any issues uh is kalani ma'am's lecture going uh, okay yes or no okay 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 then i'll see you guys tomorrow again uh, for the session maybe tomorrow one of the part of the lecture we'll do is ich gcp guidelines and then uh, next part we will do is uh, uh, moving ahead with the sequencing chapter okay uh, so see you all take care of yourself i'll join both the videos and upload them Okay thank you